Hello Libras and welcome. We are going to be doing your channeled messages. Please remember this may or may not resonate, but if it does, there is a like at the bottom of this video. Um, and I'd really appreciate it if you could hit it. One, it just supports the channel. Two, it helps your logarithm. And three, we're just spreading love. Okay, well, so feel free to subscribe if you're calling, you know, if, if you have a calling to subscribe. Um, but yeah, like I said, this will resonate with everyone because it is collective reading. Okay, Libras, let's see what's going on. All right. That's just for Libras. I'm hearing she came like the wind. I'm picking up a lot of masculine energy, but I mean, it could be feminine energy, but I'm, I don't know, it just feels very masculine, like the energy nowadays. Maybe Mars is somewhere, I don't know. Um, lost in the ruins of the past. Um, find the way to present, oh wait, find the way to the present moment and live. So some of you guys are actually dealing with the past. Um... That's interesting because I feel like it's coming to an end. It's coming to a closure. Leave your usual social circles behind and seek out true companions. So yeah, we could definitely be dealing here with um, a past person, okay, who's coming in and, you know, it's probably just old cycles and karmic cycles that need to be kind of like left behind basically okay libra um and i say that because we are in retrograde it doesn't affect everybody in the same way but usually the path does come up somewhere at some point and we are almost out of it um but of course the best thing to do is to close those doors before we are out of it so that way we know that we don't have to deal with this again okay so let's see what else is going on messages for libra so me rising in venus um, for the collective, please, Brit. Let's see. So we have spiritual strength. Ooh, like that. Really do. I'm so sorry about the glare. It is evening and it's, it's going to happen. What else do we have? Got a lot of nines. A lot of nines. Oh, these are about like things almost come into a completion. <laughs> what did I say? And then you've got the light, which now is the 10. If I could just show you real quick what's going on. So 8 and 1. Hopefully, guys. 8 and 1. That's a 9. And then you have. Can you see that? 9. And then you have. 9. <laughs> And then you have one and nine, which is ten, and that is completion. Oh, this is good because it means that whatever you're going through right now, it's it's kind of like over. Okay, the worst part of this past is over, which is so good. Okay, messages for Libra, please. There's a new door opening for you guys, and I think you are connecting with your soul tribe, which is so good. Uh, and I do feel that whatever you're doing right now, you're following your life path, you're following your your true path, and you're building your spiritual circle. And also, your circle is building your spiritual strength. Okay. Um, there's things that are being illuminated to you around this time, which is so good. Some of you guys could be empaths. Some of you guys could also be just very intuitive. Messages for Libra. Some of you guys in Venus for the collective. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. Exactly. That's exactly what I said. Okay. Uh, this is a new, uh, a new circle that you are coming into. Okay, let's see what this one is. The Sun card in reverse. Yeah, which does mean that obviously it's it's sad and it is upsetting and you may feel quite down around this time um, because you're leaving behind old connections. Okay, but these, I want you to know that these are just happening for your higher good. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. With someone Leo in the chart, three of swords. 
Yeah, these are a lot of the people who are in your life currently are of very low vibration right now, Libra, and they're not matching your energy, okay? You've elevated so much. This is not your frequency anymore. And a lot of these people have may have betrayed you and, and stabbed you in the back. Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's definitely coming to an end. It's definitely. There's two threes here. Two of Cups now. Yeah, you could be dealing with a partnership, lover. Let's see. We've got the Four of Pentacles. Mm, you're really much, you're just really keeping things to yourself right now. You, you're staying very close up. Five of Cups. Mm hmm. Somebody here really wants you back. I don't feel like you can trust them though or that you can actually let go of something that they've done. That's the thing. Like it might have been that, you know, this person says, well, let's just try and and you may be on the verge of like, listen, it's not happening. We kind of gave each other a chance before and it's just not working out. Um, it always ends up in the same, in the same situation, in the same scenario, okay? So something has to change here. I think for the most part you're keeping your emotions and your feelings to yourself. Uh, you may even not be communicating with this person or talking to this person. Alright. Um, I'm hearing silence is sometimes the best way to get through to a person. Silence speaks a thousand words. Yes. <laughs> Clarify this reading for Libra. Something rising on Venus. Three of Cups. You may even be a little bit kind of like feeling a little bit, I don't know, guilty because this person's feeling hurt. I don't think you have anything to feel guilty about. It's just what's meant to be, Libra, you know. Uh, the lovers, you're definitely connecting with new soulmates. But again, if this is that person that's coming in from the past and they want to try um, having a reunion, you have a choice here that you need to make, okay? You can either choose to walk away with this with your ha head held up high or you can choose to stay and build this connection. Um, <clears throat> could be a Leo, could be Gemini and Virgo. Let's see what the sun is in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse? Something's not being illuminated to you at this time. There's something that you're not seeing, okay? this Whoever this person is came back in and... <sighs> They really made everything sound as if, oh, everything is going to be good. It's going to be, you know, we're going to be successful. I'm going to be by your side and things are going to go really well. But it just looks like that this was just one of those false promises again. Yeah, it does look like like they they may have even been very cold or you may have been very cold towards them. And with the Nine of Swords... This person's like really got you in your head. That's what this Three of Swords is. Because Three of Swords has come out like two times now, Libra. Oh, why does Retrograde even exist? The Tower. Oof. Temperance. These are major arcana. Sagittarius and Scorpio energy here. Okay, so I'm hearing that whatever happened is good because it was an eye-opener. You got the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck and the Four of Swords. So yeah, it does look like for the most part that this become an eye-opener for you. It gave you even more strength to actually close this old cycle um, and become more resilient. Become more resilient and helping you heal um, because now you know where you stand with this person. So what this Nine of Swords is... Three of Pentacles. You really thought that this would work. That's the thing. Yeah. 
yeah. Uh, somebody's definitely going to go through karma for what they've done, okay? The scales are going to be balanced. That's you, Libra. You know, Justice and uh, Justice card, that, that's who are an energy. I think you're about to, you're about to balance the scales out. You're going to do what's just. Um, I th somebody's definitely going to face their, their karma. And somebody's manifesting something here, big time. All right, let's see what this two of cups is. Six of pentacles. <laughs> so somebody may already have had a family, okay, and they were breadcrumbing you. So you were just somebody on the side who they were breadcrumbing. They probably already had a family. They may have fed you some stories here, Libra, okay, about, you know, this, that, and the other. Um, oh, two cars wanted to come out. Queen of Cups. They may have even said they wanted to have a family with you. They wanted to start, you know, a new life with you and things. But it, just for the most part, it does look like here. Again, you still have a choice in all of this. That's the thing. And you may be feeling like something is completely out of balance here. Queen of Cups, you're definitely using your intuition. You're holding back from answering. Spiritual strength came out. Uh, we saw that in the beginning. You definitely could be getting some messages coming through around this time, okay? Like your higher self is trying to tell you something. You might even be learning about new things around this time, especially in regards to this connection about yourself. Let's see what this Five of Cups is. Okay. You've got the Hermit, Virgo energy. Oh, Hierophant is also Taurus energy, my bad. Uh, you've got the uh, Hermit card, coming in the Virgo. So, yeah, I, I feel like somebody's ghosting someone here. It's over, there's no second chances. You're looking towards the future now because you've done the healing that you needed to. You're no longer going to be stuck in this connection over this person because you know better. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this hermit. So many major arcana cards coming out for you guys. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. It is turning in your favour though. The minute you leave this connection behind, no matter how difficult it's going to look for you, Libra, but you know you have to do this because it's for your higher good. Yeah. This person may even have a lot, a lot of people around them seeking their attention because you do have the five ones here. Let's see what this five ones is. The high priestess. And that could be something they're not telling you that they have plenty of options around them. Okay. But with the high priestess, I think you already know that's the thing. And the empress, you definitely know because now you're in higher powers. The high priestess, Pisces, Virgo energy and the empress, Taurus, Libra energy. You are definitely, definitely in your higher powers right now. You are super, super intuitive. You know your self-worth, okay? You ain't going to let these um, this past person come in and play you like that, okay? Because you know. You know better. Um you're just there watching the drama playing out in this person's life but not only that you also have a lot of suitors around this time okay for uh, libra so you have plenty of choices and i don't think that you are completely interested in a lot of these choices because it looks like for the most part you're just chilling relaxing you're just really focusing on your own emotions right now and i feel like this is like the wondering energy like wondering about things okay so um let's see why has this person come back into Libra's energy? Why has this person come back into Libra's energy? What do they want from Libra? What is their true intentions? Spirit. Why has this person come back into Libra's energy? I'm sorry to say, but the first thing I completely think thought of and the way I felt about this card is that Libra, this person just sees you as another option. They're just trying their chance to see if they can get back with you. It might just be because they're bored, they have nothing else to do or no one else to feed off. Um, and, and so, yeah, 
yeah they're just trying to throw that on you that's what it is but i think that their lies and their deceits has been illuminated now it's funny because it's like spirits like you know i know what about what you're about to say so i'll just throw the cards out but yeah um the moon and the sun but the boat like the moon's come out in reverse meaning that something has been illuminated okay and this person is huh, definitely not happy because you've now done this whole pre-empress work and you know you've come into your power um and you moved on and you're no longer carrying this burden okay and and you're connecting with this whole tribe you're letting go of this past person because they are just too much like they're just pff. and look at this look at this the night the king of pentacles showed up here again so i do feel like there could be somebody new coming in here who's going to really be a really good suitor for you this is like somebody who's suited and booted and has a good job and it could be somebody that you've manifest as well because we did see that magician with the uh ace of pentacles so it could be okay uh should we get some closing cards for you guys i think so <laughs> let's get some closing cards for you guys and we'll kind of like see what's going on okay closing messages okay so we've got disruption yeah this person's just coming into your life to disrupt you okay and put you back in that same place where you were and you're no longer there you're more stronger than that so don't let this person do that okay um don't let this person succeed in doing that and i know you won't okay libra what else what else and it may feel right now like you can't make a decision but the recognition and reward is coming in okay so you've worked really hard okay for everything that you've done and where you've got till till now and i think that when you look back at all the transformations that you've done you'll be so proud of yourself okay libra that you've come so far and accomplished so so much so i i would say don't let this person just come in and try taking that from you or ruining that from you solitude yeah definitely this is kind of like the hermit energy as well if you think about it so you're gaining knowledge you're gaining high powers you're gaining stability okay um which is so beautiful so i think that the best thing for you to do is definitely go into solitude think things through and gain some wisdom meditate if you have to um but just look at the journey that you've been through so far okay libra because you have done so so well you should be proud of yourself um don't let you know any person come in from the past that you've already closed doors on to let this ruin it for you okay because you're a star all right libras so that's what i have for you guys i'll see you guys on the next one